looking to snap this losing streak. Jackets have lost seven of eight. Syracuse trying to keep the momentum rolling from Tuesday, and off we go from the ATL. Shot clock down to three. Judah Mintz recognizes and banks it in around the rim off the glass for three. What's going on, Taylor? I mean, look at the off-balance shot. I mean, yeah, it was a two, but I mean, you got to give him three for that one because, again, kickout pass was deflected, still found its way to Kelly. Copeland making an impact defensively and, again. And that's where Copeland is at his best. You see, look at the finish. Oh, my God. You see Malik Brown. Both teams come in, and you look at the shot making for both teams. Syracuse wanted the ball screen. Copeland floats it inside. Brown, tough catch, kicks it. Extra feed for Bell. Got it. That's when you talk about rotation. You pass up a good shot for a bad shot. That last time, it started with Copeland. Copeland didn't force anything. Gets the ball out of his hands. You get a wide open three. Wait, oh, see, nice. Exploding oh, to the man. And a lengthy stretch of uninterrupted basketball, and we're not complaining. Miles Kelly in oh, rhythm. that's a nice rhythm. You caught him again. We talked about Miles Kelly. Again, you come off, and you say your hands are down. I'm going to go ahead and knock this three down. After the last Miles Kelly three, Mintz circles the wagons. Copeland fakes it, takes it. Oh, man. Makes but hold on, but did you see him put it through his legs first? first I mean okay watch he's it he puts the ball through his leg and he goes and gives you a little bit of a finger roll there I mean I love watching him Mintz has started two of five from the floor Starlings two for three this is Chris Bell Whoa. And it's followed by Kyle Cuff Jr. And that was what Damon Stoudemire felt cost the Jackets in South Bend the steal for Sturdivant and the score Syracuse is doing a good job of limiting his touches and his ability to get to the cup. Here's the 2-3 zone that we've got used to seeing over the past four decades. Dongo on the offensive glass. That's what you're talking about? And, and that's where he's at his best because he's a high-energy guy. And he's got four points. Make it five points now for Quadir. Somehow that pass got all the way through to Kapari. But it was almost automatic. Dongo had it in his mind before he got in. Have done a good job of being able to find their offense and then it's well balanced at it. Good start today for Justin. He's 0 for 4. Steal for Syracuse. Starling, the theft and the finish plus the foul. That's exactly what the Orange needed. In the open transition, active hands by a Starling to get out and then watch. Just gets downhill. You see Reeves not set. But the type of staff he would bring in here and then obviously the recruiting, being able to recruit. The uh, Georgia inner metro Atlanta area bringing the talent in would be great. You see again, Judah Mintz Ooh. getting downhill. They'll get outside of what they normally do. Against the Syracuse team, you're going to have to be very consistent. And if you see that move by J.J. Starlin, you just got to stay solid. But Syracuse, again, we've talked about their perimeter guys. They're going to put a lot of pressure on you to stay in front. By Dunko scores. Nice. What a move. Syracuse bench wanted to travel. They might have a case, but Koisi Reeves scores. And Reeves doing a good job. He's probably going to be able to expand this lead. That's a huge shot for Kyle Sturdivant. And, and it was. Oh, nice, nice pass. pass. Kelly lays it nice in. Nice pass. Good back door by, by Kelly. Good dive by Kyle Sturdivant. And, but another chance. Sturdivant. Would have been a big bucket. The rebound finds Brown and loops it ahead. Starling all the way, and it's a six-point game. By the man and got into the cup. Kelly. Ripped down by Bell, but poked away and stolen by Gapari. Blocker charge. How about either? Oh, wow. Vince probing. Copeland baseline. Three up fakes and around the rim and in. Syracuse and Georgia Tech. Copeland kicks it. Corner three is good for Chris Bell. And the play was set up by Copeland. Over the last six plus minutes. Quick catch and shoot. Almost wedged in there. Sacco pulls down the rebound. Here comes Sturdivant. 
Through the Dongo screen, Sturdivant for three. Got Why it. not? Why not, Kyle Sturdivant? And, and watch Kyle Sturdivant basically when he realizes that you pass under. D Dongo does a good job of being able to set that. Georgia Tech is 8 for 17 on layups. Another chance. Up and under. Oh, wow. Count it. Watch the fact Dongo gets the ball, gathers himself, absorbs that contact from Copeland, is able to finish. Sturdivant has had the hot hand, finds Kelly with a left hand, oh, plus the nice. foul, Miles Kelly. Watch the little runner, you see Coles up at the left, you see Malik Brown come over, is able to absorb the contact. Orange do have one timeout, Starling for two, nope. That shot has not been there all night, and Georgia Tech is victorious because of it. Jack is winning 65 to 60.